Turtles have roamed the earth for over 200 million years. Turtles are an essential part of Ontario's biodiversity. Living in a variety of habitats, they play an important part in the food chain. Unfortunately, Ontario's turtles are in jeopardy. In fact, seven of the eight species of turtles in Ontario are species at risk, their numbers dwindling away towards extinction. Habitat loss, roads, and collection have had a major impact on turtle populations in Ontario. Well, I'm Ron Brooks, and I've been studying turtles for the last 40 years, and I'm the world's greatest authority on snapping turtles, or maybe the second or third greatest. With turtles, you have species with a special life history. In particular, they mature when they're older. You have to wait two decades before you can even start having young, and then they have a low probability of survival. A lot of these turtles don't even nest every year. So they have a very low potential to increase their population. And then any kind of increase in their rate of mortality or death knocks the population down. It's very difficult for it to come back up. Road mortality is a really pervasive thing because every part of their habitat in Canada and Ontario is covered by roads and that's just constantly increasing. They get killed when they move from one place to another. Hatchlings get killed when they're trying to cross roads or coming out of nests that are laid along side roads. Mortality is hitting them right where it's most devastating to the population, breeding females. Even in Algonquin Park, turtles are at risk from roads and collection. To give an example from Algonquin Park, which is a big protected area, but there's a big highway running through it, and that highway is a lot of high-speed traffic on it. And what we found was looking at painted turtles, if we looked at the turtle populations we had that were a few kilometers from the highway and compared their annual rate of survival to those that are closer to the highway, it's much higher when they're further from the highway. So the turtles closer to the highway had about a 30% greater chance of being killed in a given year by being run over or possibly occasionally being picked up by people. But the highway itself represented this problem for them and it particularly was true for females. So you find that males are still there year after year, but females disappear because they're trying to get out on the highway to nest or across the highway. Collection for food and for pets is also a serious threat. What happens with um, hunting, even though the numbers are small, it would have a devastating effect on the uh, population size of a, of a local lake, for example, and it would take century for it to recover or more. Most turtles in Ontario are protected by law and in some cases the punishment can be severe. In Ontario many dedicated professionals are working to save turtles through protection of habitat, research, and finding ways to protect turtles from roads, like using special fencing and eco-passages to prevent turtles from being killed on roads. You can do your part to help save Ontario's turtles by doing a few simple things. Help researchers by reporting your turtle observations to the Ontario Turtle Tally website. Report locations of turtles on roads, dead or alive, to the Wildlife and Roads website so experts can identify high-risk roads for improvement. Where safe to do so, move turtles off of roads in the direction they are traveling. Report suspicious activity to the Ministry of Natural Resources tips line. 
recommend that turtle protection be considered in highway projects. Most projects are posted on the environmental registry. If we all do our part, we can help turtle populations recover in Ontario and ensure they remain a valuable part of our heritage for years to come.